Hello everybody, I'm reviewing Ninja Turtles. Finally back at it, took a few weeks off. But uh, I'm going to review with the last few episodes of Season 2 and we can move on to uh, Turtles Free. Season 3. But anyway, uh, we're doing the episode The Ghost from Chinatown. So uh, this episode is not my favorite, but uh, it's a fine episode. Like, that's how I viewed it when I first saw it. It's basically where uh, the Turtles encounter a uh, a ghost from, uh, I think, China. His name is Ho Chan. And uh, I forget who voices him. He, I think he's a famous actor himself. And uh, I think he uh, plays as Morgan in uh, Star Wars Rebels. So uh, that's nice. Every time you hear a voice actor's voice, it just seems familiar to you. It all starts when uh, Donnie and uh, Casey Jones are having a sort of fallout over uh, April. Like they're uh, they're trying to impress her, like see who can jump across the buildings that look the coolest. And uh, yeah, they just want to butt heads over it. I-, I gotta be honest, I'm not a fan of the whole Donnie and April. Casey love triangle it just I don't know that's the one thing I just I never really liked about the show it's just it's just this show's amazing it's my childhood but like it's just this romance stuff and just not into it. and this episode kind of just shows her love triangle even more because uh um Ho Chan uh possesses the purple dragons because they're they're trying to steal this uh sword thing but uh, Donnie and the turtles uh, take them down. But uh, they have the sword thing, and then uh, they unleash Ho Chan, and he's a he's a ghost. He's two thousand years old, and he's been trapped in this knife. It, I, I can appreciate that aspect of the episode, like it's create. I like the idea of like having this uh this spirit that's trapped in this knife, and the only way to unleash him is to open the knife, and so. Uh, what happens is, uh, they, uh, possess, he possesses the purple dragons, who, uh, yeah, they're just punks, and even Mikey points out how they're not really much of a threat, and even Raph is just like, you leave, you left them without me, and, uh, basically Ho-Chan's looking for a target, so he can basically just not be a ghost anymore, and so he targets April, of all people, of course, and he, she's with uh, Irma and Casey at the hockey rink, and I don't know. And uh, we do get a plot twist later this season about uh, you know who. I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but uh, it's just kind of weird when they both get captured by uh, Ho Chan, and Casey's just. I just love the part where Casey is just like, "Oh, April, no!" and then he goes. But Irma, no. He like he just doesn't really seem to like Irma. Always got that feeling about Casey. Like he just he loves he likes April. He loves being with her. But Irma, he's just like nah, whatever. And so uh, Donnie gets pissed at uh Casey for uh, leaving April behind, not saving her. Even though he did try to take down the purple dragons, and they all got an elemental powers. One can uh, shoot out lightning. One is, has like thunder powers, and the other, I think, it's like uh, can create wind tornadoes. So uh, that's neat. But then after the, the Ho Chan decides to give up on the purple dragons, they run off, and it, they decide to possess Leo, Mikey, and Raph, and then they become ninjas. The samurai sort of with like these hats, and then they get the powers, and then it's up for Casey and the. Uh, Donnie to rescue April and uh, Irma, and what they do to trick the turtles is to like, is to simply uh, like uh, order pizza and then just shoot out a bunch of them, while they're trying to research about Ho Chan, who's just this ancient dude from China who's just trapped in this uh, knife. And so they do give the turtles the pizza after I just I do like the part where they're trying to fight the turtles and then they're like swirling around world winds while I always thought it was weird when Ho Chan was like trying to do his magic spells on both Irma and April. Like what is he he's trying to steal their essence basically. Like that was very fascinating to see. Like 
Like, seriously. And then, uh, I think the turtles do fight over pizza. I do like the part where Mikey is thrown across the city after he burps from pizza. Like, that was funny. Then Donnie and, and Casey do find their way to April. And I think April frees herself. And then, uh, yeah, she tries to ask Irma, but she's just like, she can't do it because, like, he's a ghost. And then he finally is about to turn human. And we do get a little glimpse of Ho Chan's, uh, of what he looks like, human form. And then I think what happens is, like, uh, April does save the day when Donnie and Casey show up, and then she uses the knife to just stab Ho Chan, and then he's sucked back into the knife. And then the, the, they all celebrate, and they're Mikey, Don, Le, Raph, and Leo no longer possessed. And then uh, they ask what happened, but uh, they decide to just all hug, and, but then they have to walk away because Irma's waking up. And then uh, Donnie throws the knife across the ocean to bury it. And uh, yep, that's how the episode ends. So uh, yeah, this episode ain't too bad on rewatch. It's definitely one of my least favorite. It's not as good as, like, the fun season 2 finale of this show, which is probably one of the best episodes, but, uh, yeah, this is just a nice filler episode that could just be fun. I mean, Ho-Chan, he's actually, I actually tolerate Ho-Chan, like, he's kind of wacky, he's, he's, he's definitely not my favorite Ninja Turtle villain, but, uh, he's only made two appearances in this show. So, uh, yeah, that's nice. I do like the voice actor of him, like I said, he's very talented. So, uh, yeah, I think the next episode is the last regular episode of season two, and next is the finale. I think it's Into Dimension X, where we finally see Dimension X. I can't wait to review that episode and the finale. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and turtle power.